Hi, this is Dr. Winters, and I want to talk with you about red light therapy. Red light therapy does some amazing things for us. Right now, I'm holding an Arconia laser on myself, and this is 635 nanometer light, which makes it red, and that's the wavelength, and then there are set in here frequencies, and you'll notice it looks like things are turning on and off. That's because there's two different diodes that are alternating information here. And that's very powerful for healing the body. We also have smaller lasers. This is a green one, which is more immune activating. And this is a red one, which we use for other things. And we use these lasers for our quantum neuro reset therapy. The third type of red light therapy device that I use is called a GRT light. This is a combination of red and infrared. So there's two diodes of red light at around 632 nanometers and there are also infrared diodes in here which are around 850 nanometers which aren't visible to the naked eye. Uh, this is a pulse light, it's not a laser light, you notice it's not in a line like the other lights but it works very well uh, especially for the technique we use called quantum neurology. And so there are three major ways to use red light therapy. One is to just tissue saturation. So if I'm going to put it on my liver, then uh, that's going to saturate my liver and, and uh, create changes. And I'll cover those changes in a moment. The second is to put them on specific acupressure points. So for that, for example, we might use an acupressure point or acupuncture point on the ear, for example, and put the light therapy there. And it's interesting, they've had studies where they've put light therapy on a person's foot and could see areas of the brain light up almost instantaneously. The third way that we use red light therapy is the most common way that we use it in our office, and that is the neural activation principle. Meaning we activate a nerve pathway find out if it's weak or strong, and then reset it with the red light therapy. So if I were holding my arms up like this and one arm went down, I know that's from the fifth cervical area in my neck usually. So I might have weakness there that I tested, a true weakness, and then I would put the red light therapy on the C5 nerve root area in my neck, and then all of a sudden my arm would get stronger. My arm would get stronger because of a couple different things. One, red light therapy helps the body produce, and particularly the nervous system, produce more ATP, cellular energy. As the nerve has more cellular energy, it can reset the nerve pathways. There's also a communication phenomena in the nervous system that it helps reset communication. And then thirdly, red light therapy acts in a way, a big word called hormesis, but just think of it like exercise for the cell. So when we exercise and we put more stress whether it's running or weightlifting or whatever we put more stress on our body our body learns to adapt to that stress and compensates so that we actually become healthier and that's the way red light therapy also works for the cell it's like mild exercise for the cell so that cellular processes which relate to detoxification which relate to again more energy which relate to whatever the cell is needing to do and trying to do, it becomes stronger at that and more efficient at that. And so by increasing cellular energy and increasing adaptability of the cell, we can become healthier with red light therapy. So that's just a quick hit on some of the red light therapies that we use in our office and the ways that we use them and how we can use that to help you be healthier. If you like the information on our YouTube channel, be sure and subscribe and like us on Facebook. I'm Dr. Michael Winters, Winters Wellness, Chiropractic Redefined.